Let's begin at the Supreme Court, where the ban against senior counsel Ahmed Nasser Abdullahi came into effect Tuesday after six judges recused themselves from hearing a matter in which the lawyer was involved. Ahmed Nasser was representing the family of the late Noah Chelugui, whose widow, Susan Chelugui, and son, David, are respondents in a two billion shillings property tussle involving the family of the late retired president, Daniel Arab Moy and businessman Jaswant Rai. The controversial lawyer sustained his tirade on his social media platforms, heading out to the bench, saying he will only come before it if it is not presided over by the president of the court. Here's Chemtai Goen with that report. Uh, my name is David Kiptemoy Chelugui. The family of the late Noah Chelugui became the first victim of the Supreme Court ban on senior counsel Ahmed Asir Abdullahi after the sixth judge bench moved in to effect its orders, barring him from submitting to the court by declining to hear a case in which Ahmed Asir acted on behalf of the family in a protracted property dispute with the family of the late former president Daniel Arap Moy. The six justices of this court now present to hear this matter in the absence of a UCO Supreme Court judge who is currently in this post. Now Suomoto makes this form of Honda recusing themselves from hearing this matter as long as Mr. Hamid Nasir Abdurai, senior counsel, is appearing either by himself through an employee of his law firm or any other person holding his brief or acting pursuant to his instructions in this consolidated appeal. The judges, reacting to alleged insults and vitriol by the controversial lawyer directed at the court. It is untenable that Mr. Hamel Nasir Abdurai Senior Counsel will seek justice in the very court and before the very judges whose reputation and integrity he never tires in assaulting. The family of the late former President Moi had moved to court to appeal a ruling that had found them guilty of grabbing a 53-acre piece of land belonging to the Chelugui family in 1983 and required them to compensate the family 1 billion shillings. With the patriarch now deceased, the respondents in the case were widow Susan Chelugui and son David Chelugui, who witnessed a further delay of justice. Mr. Chelugui, we, as I said, we empathize with uh, you and especially your aging mother, but uh, we like the case belongs to you, so we like to give you time to. Uh, tell us whether you want to engage another lawyer or how you want to proceed. Uh, my mother is Susan Cherubet Chelwe, the four year old lady, admitted at St. Luke's. Uh, she got a shock of her life when the court pronounced that uh, the lawyer he had chosen was not going to represent her. My request, your ladyship, I traveled yesterday. And I'm uh, privileged to have given me ample to appear before you. I request that uh, you give us time, uh, the earliest, as my mother will, is uh, an only lady, to engage another lawyer. During the virtual hearing, the court led by Chief Justice Martha Kome stated that the case will not proceed as long as Ahmed Asir, his defense team or any other advocate linked to him was part of the proceedings. Taking to his ex-handle to state that he was ready to make peace with the court on two conditions and I quote, I will not take a brief or appear before the Supreme Court as long as C.J. Kome, D.C.J. Mwilu, Smokin Nwanjala, and Jokin Dungwa judges of the Supreme Court of Kenya, end quote, and that father, quote, I will come back to the court in Shala, God willing in Islam, if and when Justices Ibrahim, Lenaola, Ouko, and other new members constitute a majority in the Supreme Court, end quote.
a letter by the registrar of the apex court issued last week was tuesday formally adopted as a court order where the controversy stricken lawyer was notified of the gag orders arising from his continued attacks on judges and the judiciary Ahmed Nasir has since vowed to challenge the decision of the East African Court of Justice and even as he waits his day to the court it appears he may wait longer to appear before the Supreme Court if his conditions are anything to go by this is because most of the judges of the Supreme Court have time before they get to the mandatory retirement age Chamutai Goin Citizen TV